Without me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. Faces look garbled. No flurry they feel. No breath, no cheer. Death not to fear. Time is not spent. Loses has no scent. At nothing you can marvel without me. But it wasn't roses, my precious. Not roses. Lilies. Not lilies. Not roses. Which one was it, precious? upon his back. We may provide you with a car. There is no hope for him, I fear. The creature is lost. Well, let's see how he responds to some light. Someone tortured him long before the Dunadan found him. The darkness grows beyond our borders. My people are growing anxious. We cannot let this evil linger among us. Enough. We believe that he went to Mordor. That's what I feared. What did he hope to find, I wonder? Believe us. I want to hear what he has to say. Why don't we start with your name? Your real name, not the one others have given you. Very well. Let us try someone else's name. Bilbo Baggins. Yes, you remember him. He found you, more than sixty years ago, deep underneath the roots of the Misty Mountains. He took something from you. A ring. My precious. You were looking for it, weren't you? You left your home in the mountains, worming your way down the hills, always hiding from the moon. You follow the Hobbit's trace all the way east to the Lonely Mountain. But then you stop and turn south. Why? <laughs> Something must have drawn you away. A voice calling you to the land of shadow. Leave us alone! Whispering your name in your dreams. Not listening! So, once again, what is your name? Smeagol. Very well, Smeagol. Now, let us start at the beginning.
has it. Tomorrow, my dear, tomorrow we find something nice. And up, and up again. Mountains of Shadow. That is where you are hiding. You mustn't ask. Why is it asking us questions? Why? You know why. Talk to the orcs. Ah, never. But we have sharp ears and we listen. You must have had friends, one. A family. They kicked us, cast us out, cast them all, cast them. It was our birthday. Yes, it was. Your birthday. Perhaps she helps us now, the great spider. We brought her beasts to eat, yes, and crunchy oxies, but she doesn't like them much. <laughs> Back's home, Birdsfoot, all the same, sweet one. Just names in a stupid song. What's the noise? It was ours, oh, precious, my birthday present. It came to me on my birthday. So I've heard. Ox couldn't see us. No one could see us. Not even nasty wizards. How did you find it? You're precious. <laughs> nasty light. Smeagol wants to sleep. He cannot sleep now. But I shall dim the light for you. No nice friend was he precious. <laughs> Not tricking us now, is he? Hmm? No, no, not anymore. And if she's not happy, 
What does she do then, my love? Wraps us all up like spindles. No, not for her tunnels, not yet. Must bring her nicer things than orcs. So you never left that cave? Never. And no one ever saw you? No one. Tell the wraiths and squeal on us. <laughs> Dirty little spy. Squeeze it. Yes, squeeze the cracks. And then we eat. <laughs> And that's how far you ever went into Mordor. We never, never left the clouds. Why is it asking us? There it is, the spy. Two of them. Two little croxes. Uh... <sighs> 
I sees all they says, all lands and mountains, it might see bains. Not him, not him. Don't speak to him. Don't listen. Then places. why are there torture marks on your hand? <laughs> she could help us. Something's brewing. Even the shriekers are out and flying. Those screams who makes your skin crawl. Yes, a spider could help. First, lure them into her webs and then... Oh, that's what's brewing. Folks high up are getting tense.
They will find us. The beetle saw us. Smash it, smash it. What if it's friendly? Eat it. Don't let it tell on us. wants us no harm, does it? Could be a spy. It could be. Beetle just wants to eat pollen, perhaps. Hmm. Pollen. Hmm. Yes. It hasn't been following us, has it? It likes us. Look. Look.
Look at me. Look at me. They brought you to him, didn't they? The Dark Lord. What did you tell him? What did you tell Sauron? Nazk. No ring. Nazk. What did you tell him? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, we swear. We swear. Nazk. Nazk. Don't tell them, precious. Baggins took in Baggins from the Shire. So he knows. Just keep your head down. Do what the masters tell you. Run! Run till your feet are bloody! What is that thing? Not a dwarf. Not a goblin. Too ugly for either of them. Be quiet. Yes, my king. <laughs> I don't care if you're tired. I don't care if you're sick. As long as you run. Bubble! 
Slagovishil, Gulsuk. Please, we don't understand. This way. Hey, Grashnik, I didn't catch your name. Doesn't matter. You're going to die down here anyway. My advice. Make your death count. You have to get the Borrocks back into their pens as fast as you can. They let you starve if you're slow. Borrocks? The beasts. If they run at you, find cover. Get to high ground if you can. They don't have the best eyes. Open the pens and lure them in there. Then quickly close the gates. Pens? <sighs> All right. I will help you. Climb the ladder. The gate is not for us. First things first. The slaves chase the cattle. The cattle chases the slaves. You are the bait. If you're careless, you'll get trapped. Lure the animal into the pen, and then quickly shut the gate. Those beasts love to break the levers. That's why there's another one on top. Now down on the other side. Carefully. Now run! Run to the pen! That's it. Get his attention and run. Another pen, back there. But the way is long, and the Boroks are fast. These ones are bulls, so I wouldn't trust the fences to stop them. If they get too close, try getting to higher ground. Precious? Beastmaster will tell us. Not too bad. For your first day. Not too good either. No more work down below, though. They want me to keep an eye on you. Their newest scheme to humiliate me, I suppose. Next, the mines. Dry, dry, dry! Snuggle up, move!
Oh, what's it saying, precious? Is it asking riddles? Don't listen to her. There's a reason she's in a cage. What reason? She is a witch. Oh, well, that's the rumor. Hey, Snagala. Kurz nach acht Kontrak. Drashi. Kon. Please. Sneagle doesn't know. Doesn't know the words, does he? No. And what does a good slave do? Huh? A good slave that doesn't know the words? He learns. Maybe you should run, little slave. We want to be done before the third horn, don't we? Please, wait. The frail man must help us. Uh. Huh. What was that? The bridge. Now, come on. They want you to search the tunnels for dead workers. Dead? Eight didn't report back yesterday. Find their bodies, collect their numbers, as quick as you can. Numbers? Yes, their tags. Like the one they gave you, eight. You're on your own now. Eight bodies, eight numbers. It's too hot. Oh, these are the mild parts. Come on! Work on it, you scum! Or would you prefer the fiery rivers? Who wants to join the brainless maggots down there? Look, is that the cock? What is he doing? Didn't think so. need a number anymore, does it? That's one, seven left. Not nice work.
we eat. Find our precious. Freak is that? Oh, we must rest. Not now, love. Not yet. Hey, what is that? Looks like a frog. Don't listen, my love. Five. Just one minute. No rest, my precious. Or someone collects our number two. See? Made it down. Ah, it's too hot! It burns our skin! Sending the weak up to the tower. It didn't even fight. They never do. Now. And you? Eight. All eight. 
ugly and slow. I would milk you for blood if you had any. Well, bless you. I've seen people sit there all night, staring out that window. Hatching out plans. Good, clever plans. All dead and gone. What are you looking at? The bridge? The gate? Oh, yes. That beautiful gate. Leads straight out of Luke Boris, they say. There it is. Opening to the chime of a bell. A cunning invitation. Who lives in the tower? The master of the Black Pits. A sorcerer. But the orcs just call him Candleman. Candleman? Maybe they think it's him who's light barns in the tower. Alas, there is only one way into the Tower of Light. The one that our sick friend Darimon took today. He lost his hope long before he lost his life. As most of us do. Before that, however, he tried to find plans for the tower. He was obsessed with it. A great collection of maps, he told me. Stored somewhere in the halls of Grond. In a building made of steel. Halls of Grond? I could show you the way, if you want to see for yourself. Don't listen, maggot. No brains left in that old scrag. He's been down here too long. Here you're quite a climber. Water, please. I told you, don't talk to us. <laughs> that rodent from yesterday, still walking. Special honor for you today. Some of our little crackers didn't go off last night. Some dirt eater needs to crawl down the tunnels and light them up. And among all dirt eaters, don't you two look like kings? <laughs> Stop staring, Sharku. What's a dirty turn? That's what they call slaves they deem useless. Come on, this way. Take a light. It's going to be dark. We like dark. Frail men can keep nasty lights. They used to have dwarves for this kind of work, but they're all gone. Now they send in the most starved slaves. Workers already placed the explosives. Lighting them, that's the dirty eater's task. At the end of the tunnel, you'll find a barrel full of flammable liquid. Go down, light it up, then run for your life. Why? 
When you smell the fumes, you'll know why. No marks. These tunnels haven't been cleared. Take some igniters, the red stones. Crawl down to the barrels and put the red stone in. Then hurry back. Don't breathe too much. What's the frail man's job? I'll keep watch. Exes. So, you can see in the dark, hmm? Do you want to know a secret? Let's finish these tunnels first. Come this way. There are more of these cursed things. Schmeagel wants to go home to the river. Nice cold river. Well, you can't, can you? You can breathe now. Breathe in. <sighs> One more, come on. What's the secret? Hmm? No, forget about it. Has it food, eh? Has it nice fish? <laughs> 
hidden away. Not here. Finish the last tunnel, then meet me back upstairs at the cages. <laughs> and now he wants bread for crawling through some dirt. Take it then. Nobody shall call Kuznach unjust. Back upstairs with you. Where is better here? Frail man can tell us secrets now. Remember the dwarves I mentioned earlier? One of them told me something once. Those buildings up there, above the bridge, see? He had to build them. Dangerous work. But after a while, he knew where the guards watched. He'd steal red stones and hide them in a cave near the bridge. Just one stone each day, so the guards wouldn't notice. Why? Why do you think? What happened? Well... One day, he slipped and fell. <laughs> That's not a nice story. Mm, I suppose not. That's all I'm saying. But you gave her water. The stone uh, out, he said. Little Gollum got bread. Now Gollum owes it to me. <laughs> Your bread? Or are you deaf? Are you deaf, little Gollum? Perhaps Oak would sleep more quiet if we was his friend. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? 